At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. Gobble gobble, everybody! I'm Mr. Movie Phone with your weekend movie preview. This Thanksgiving weekend at the movies, Anthony Hopkins is Hitchcock. You can rise with the Guardians, but first, let's have some pie. Not pumpkin, but a new epic adventure. So I was sitting in this coffee house, and this old man at the table next to me struck up a conversation. He said you had an amazing story. Let's see then, where to begin? Director Ang Lee creates a groundbreaking movie about a boy lost at sea who is hurtled into an epic journey of adventure. While cast away, he forms an amazing, unexpected connection with another survivor, a fearsome Bengal tiger. The real deal? The movie Summer comparing to Avatar. Life of Pi is an amazing adventure that could certainly get some Oscar nominations. So, it's really good, plus, I just like Pi. I'm in! It's Anthony Hopkins like you've never seen him before. He's Hitchcock. I'm just a man hiding in the corner with a camera, watching. It's a love story about one of the most influential filmmakers of the last century, Alfred Hitchcock and his wife and partner, Alma Reville. The film takes place during the making of Hitchcock's seminal movie, Psycho, and co-stars Helen Mirren and Scarlett Johansson. The real deal? Hopkins is dead on as Hitchcock, and even though it plays it pretty loose with the facts, it's a very entertaining look at the man who, at the time, was the most famous director in the world. I'm in! Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy all come together in Rise of the Guardians. Ah, Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, surprise, and men. You know each other? This epic adventure tells the story of a group of familiar heroes, each with extraordinary abilities. When an evil spirit known as Pitch lays down the gauntlet to take over the world, the Guardians must join forces for the first time to protect the hopes and imaginations of children all over the world. The real deal will sort of a noisy, frenetic hodgepodge of a fairy tale. The kids will like it okay, but for us parents, pie is always the smart Thanksgiving choice. I'm out. All right, remember, for your showtimes, your tickets, my six-second review, so much more, go to moviephone.com. And if you want to drop me a note, it's facebook.com slash mrmoviephone or tweet me right at six-second reviews. So have a great Thanksgiving weekend, everybody, and I'll see you at the movies. That's a wrap. Lots of interesting things to see this weekend. All right, the Celebrate Small Business Black Friday sale will be held this Friday and Saturday at Bernina Sewing Center for an extra 30% off already sale items. Bernina is located at 4920 South Pahrump Valley Boulevard. And for more, for more information, be sure to call 727 3633 And now here's Deanna O'Donnell with your news across Nevada. Clark County lawmakers have given conditional approval for transferring 60 acres to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas for an $800 million domed football stadium. The commissioners unanimously approved giving UNLV a and a developer up to two years to work out a deal to transfer some of the 150 acres needed for the development. The county deal depends on UNLV obtaining funding and gaining approval from the U Nevada University System Board of Regents. The developers plan to ask the state legislature legislature next year to approve a tax increment financing plan for the project. Government officials from the U.S. and Mexico have set a Tuesday date in San Diego to sign a landmark agreement to share Colorado River water during times of drought and surplus. The agreement calls for letting Mexico store water in Lake Mead and for a pilot program of water releases from the U.S. to replenish wetlands in the Colorado River Delta south of the border. Water agencies in California, Arizona, and Nevada would each buy water from Mexico over three years, and the agreement also clears the way for U.S. entities to invest in infrastructure improvements in Mexico in return for a share of the water such projects would save. Nevada's unemployment rate is down to its lowest level in three and a half years. The Devel Department of Employment Training and Rehabilitation says Monday that Nevada's seasonally adjusted jobless rate was 11.5 percent in October. That's down from 11.8 percent the month earlier, and it's the lowest rate since May of 2009. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your News Across Nevada. What well, is the busiest time of the year when it comes to travel? This morning we caught up with Christine Garcia from Travelocity who spent all day at McCarran Airport to give you an update. 
Today is the biggest traveling day of the year, and if you're headed out to McCarran Airport, we spoke to Kristen Garcia, who's been there all day. She's a representative of Travelocity. We're going to speak to Kristen about flight updates, delays, and weather conditions. As of today, things have looked fantastic. Hardly any delays. We had some delays this morning coming in and out of Chicago. There was a lot of fog in the area, and so that was causing some major delays and cancellations as well. But the fog has since cleared, and since then, the um, vast majority of flights have been on time. First and foremost, I would plan on getting to the airport early. You can never be too early, so we're recommending two hours, but again, the earlier the better. Another great way to prepare would be to check in online. You can check in up to 24 hours before your flight takes off, even pay for your check bags online, which will save you some money. Um, and then another great way to prepare is just to make sure that all of your carry-on baggage is TSA compliant. Um, and especially pay attention to your liquids with that 311 rule. Is there any new airport fees that travelers can expect to pay this holiday season? We asked Kristen. Yes, some of the most common ones, of course, are your check bags. And then we're also seeing some fees um, entailing in-flight entertainment and then meals as well. Have the airport security procedures changed over the holidays? Um, yes, security procedures seem to be about the same as um, travelers can still expect to put their bags through an x-ray machine and walk through the metal detector. Um, there is still the full body scanners at most of the large airports around the country. And of course, travelers, if they're not comfortable with that, can opt out for the full body pat down as well. Kristen speaks about airport security procedures and carry-on luggage tips. Um, I would just say check online. Make sure that your carry-on baggage is within the proper size limit that it gives you. Um, some carriers have even begin, begun to charge you for carry-on bags. So, again, I would say double-check that um, according to your carrier. And if there's a fee for it, chances are that it will be less expensive if you pay for it online ahead of time. So go ahead and do that. Travelocity has all sorts of tips, including fun Thanksgiving travel tips. We talked to Christian Garcia about some of those. We've discovered that you can, in fact, pack a turkey if you would like to. Um, it will be one of your carry-on items, though, and you do only have two carry-on items, one bag, and then one personal item. So keep that in mind. Um, but yes, if you'd like to pack your turkey, you can do so. For live updates, you can go to Travelocity's Twitter page or go to Travelocity.com. Wishing you a very happy holiday weekend. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Well, when we come back from this break, we'll have your entertainment this week. Join us at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prump Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prump Nugget Hotel and Casino. The news is brought to you by affiliated chiropractic and affiliated physical therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. News is also brought to you by Dr. George Lees, Harumps Optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. And welcome back. Let's join Zach Fuentes with your week in entertainment. Justin Bieber, Nicki Minaj, and Taylor Swift were the big winners at Sunday night's American Music Awards. Bieber was a recipient of the night's first award, Favorite Pop Rock Male Artist. Country pop star Taylor Swift, for the fifth time in a row, won the American Music Award for Favorite Female Artist. Nicki Minaj won her second award for Favorite Rap Hip Hop Album for her release Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded. Linkin Park won the Favorite Alternative Rock Music Artist, and Carly Rae Jepsen, who hit it big this year with the song Call Me Maybe, won New Artist of the Year. This year, this year marked the 40th anniversary of the American Music Awards and was the first show to be held without its producer Dick Clark. His life along with the late Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston's were all celebrated at different points throughout the show. Former world lightweight boxing champion Hector Macho Camacho is in critical condition after receiving a gunshot wound to the jaw. Doctors are unsure if he'll ever walk again. 50-year-old Camacho was in the passenger seat of a car outside of a bar in his native Puerto Rico when another car pulled up and began firing the shots that hit Hector Camacho and killed the driver of the car. Since his retirement, Camacho has found some success in Spanish-language television. Last year, though, he made headlines when he was charged with felony child abuse against his teenage son. 
a case that is still pending in the state of Florida. According to his rep, his family, including his mother, are all on their way to Puerto Rico to be by his side. In 1990, Rowan Atkinson debuted the iconic character Mr. Bean in a television series that lasted until 1995. Mr. Bean was also featured in an animated series that ran from 2002 to 2004 and, of course, in the films Bean, released back in 1997, and Mr. Bean's Holiday, 10 years later in 2007. The character was famous for his shenanigans and hijinks. Rowan Atkinson, the man who created the character Mr. Bean when he was studying at Oxford University, has stated that he will most likely be retiring Mr. Bean after all of these years. He says that he believes that someone in their 50s playing a character that is so childlike is, quote, a little sad, and also that his physical ability is declining. Atkinson hopes to be taken more seriously and is planning on doing so with an upcoming stage role. And talking about entertainment this week, this weekend is wild at Bender's Bar. We caught up with Monkey to find out more. Uh, tonight we have our Welfare Wednesday night. Um, starts at 9, ends at 1. $20 gets you all you can safely consume uh, during that time period. It, it excludes top shelf. We also have underwear night. Uh, tonight from 8 till 12, you get down into your underwear and you get all the free well and uh, domestic draft you can drink safely mm -hmm. and have a good time. What's going on over the weekend? This weekend we have a, a band out of Las Vegas. It's uh, called Three Blind Mice. Mm -hmm. um, their players have played in uh, uh, such bands as like Tesla and and Leanne Rhymes with Leanne Rhymes. Mm -hmm. So it should be they play classic rock. So if you're into classic rock, it should be a hell of a good time. When is that uh, going to be happening? Uh, it'll be on Black Friday, mm -hmm. this Friday the 23rd. Mm -hmm. It'll go from 8 uh, p.m. until 12 a.m. Bender's is at 3610 South Highway 160, mm -hmm. out just past the Maverick, heading out of town. Um, there on your right, mm -hmm. uh, right by the gym. Is there a phone number to call for more information? Sure. 751-4700. Uh, Alrighty, everyone, I'll be right back with your holiday weekend weather after this break. Keep it here.